absent from flesh, oh blissful thought, what joy this moment brings. Freed from the blame my sin has brought, from pain and death and its sting. Coming in, I was pretty worried that since they changed it to kind of a topic about eternity, it was going to turn into something that just revolved around the end is coming, but it always has been. So I was kind of worried I wouldn't get anything. But coming here, I've seen they're making it really applicable to life. Until probably the day before we left, I had almost no expectations. I just wasn't sure what to think at all, really. And I just prayed about it, and I felt like God had something here for me, and I just was along for the ride to figure out what it was. With COVID this year, so many things have been canceled. Vacations and trips and school things. And my kids have been disappointed by a bunch of things that got canceled. And my kids said, Dad, please, let's not cancel DTC. I was hoping that we could actually do it in the middle of this pandemic so that uh, our kids could have an opportunity to fellowship and hear God's word and hang out and have a blast. Probably like just learning about like, the rapture and stuff. I didn't know as much as I should have known. I have kind of two big takeaways. One was that um, Mr. John was talking about how you won't need faith in heaven anymore. When we go to heaven, we won't need it anymore because we can just see everything. We won't have questions. We won't have a blind faith of something we believe we can actually, actually see it all. My second takeaway was more kind of um, really reaching out and sharing the gospel with everyone. and really taking advantage of every opportunity. One of the things that I've come away with the most, I really appreciated on Mike Bunnell's teaching, and he talked about the verse Hebrews 10, 24, and 25 about spurring one another on related to meeting together, consider how, you know, and uh, he just used the phrase a few times, figure it out, you know, and I think as a pastor, uh, sometimes I try to figure it out for other people, but I really feel like, you know, the Lord spoke to me that I need to help other people figure it out. If they love God and they want to obey Him, I don't necessarily have to figure it out for them. Shine to one eternal day In this failing body I now resign Um, it's really cool to come home and tell my family about it so that they can do it too. And yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, evangelizing is <laughs> sometimes scary, but knowing that God and where they go if you don't, then you have to live with that person didn't get to go to heaven because you were too scared. Then you think, all right, I'm going to put social stereotypes aside and try to save this person. my teaching, I was teaching on Mark chapter 13, the Olivet Discourse, and at the end there in uh, 1322, Jesus is giving signs of the end, and he says in 1322, for false Christ and false prophets will arise and perform signs and wonders to lead astray, if possible, the elect, but be on guard. I've told you all things beforehand. So I was hoping the, the young men and women listening to my teaching, that they were sobered, they were warned, they were reminded that there are a lot of false teachers coming and in our world and Jesus wanted us to be aware and to be prepared so we can see through those lies and deceptions by His grace. Oh, 
don't believe the sessions have just done a lot of have used like half a notebook for notes because it's just I want to get everything. It's so interesting. Honestly, uh, for me, I'm a kind of a people person, and so the, the fellowship, the interacting, I think um, getting to raft, do river tubing together with people, and basketball and gaga ball, just hanging out with people was a blast. And doing that with you know with my teens and with teens from other churches was just a it was just a huge blessing. Kind of loving one another from different age groups and demographics was super awesome to me. I personally had a ton of fun doing worship. I thought that was, it's really cool to, um, well it's hard for me because I was in a cage, but um, <laughs> there's something about even through like Josiah's microphone I could hear in my monitor, everyone singing together. It's really cool to hear Christ's body unite in a way through that like worship. Mm -hmm.